Hi, I wanted to um, quickly review some of the key points from the syllabus. The first homework assignment requires you to read through this in a lot of detail. There are, um, kind of because I can, a few quotes at the beginning, um, one of which is about um, critical analysis of data, which is something that we're going to be doing quite a lot of during the semester. Um, and the other is about um, uh, a quote that sort of discounts the value of memorization. Um, one of the goals in this course is to prioritize what I ask you to memorize. There are some things that you're expected to memorize, but, um, but a lot of things that uh, are not, I feel, super high priority. Um, there's a course description and, very importantly, contact information for both me and Madeline, the TA, um, as well as um, a recommended textbook that's not Required, which is on reserve in the Sorrells Library in Wien Hall on the fourth floor of Wien Hall, right by the fourth floor elevators in Wien Hall. Um, also um, a required book that you need to read in the first couple of weeks. And then right around the second week, you're going to be choosing one of these autobiographies to read. Um, there's also some general goals and also specific learning objectives for the course that you should review. Um, one of the uh, primary purposes of this course is, of course, to give you an introduction to um, the biological basis of a lot of neuropsychiatric disorders. Um, but in addition to that, we want to connect this to both fundamental um, cellular neuroscience and cellular biology that we are going to be talking about, um, genetics and environmental factors that contribute to diseases, um, and also um, as is indicated both in some of these sort of aspirational goals as well as this last learning objective um, and in fact even also one of these quotes um, a lot of the summer is going to be spent discussing the um, data behind our knowledge and understanding some of the ways that we um, have uh, uh, knowledge about these diseases and some of the gaps in these knowledge and some of the reasons for those gaps and even potential ways that in the future research can be um, uh, uh, improved and data, and data can be collected to fill in some of these gaps. There's also a lot of advice in terms of how to succeed in class. A lot of it comes down to preparation um, and engagement during lectures. Um, and then also a, a quote about uh, sort of lifelong learning goals. Um, and then a quote that almost contradicts um, one of the earlier quotes, um, arguing in favor of memorization and, um, and in fact, some of the reasons why um, it's very valuable for scientists to collect information in their brains in order to be able to creatively pursue and enhance um, scientific uh, discovery. And um, no matter what you go on to do, um, a lot of the skills that we're developing in terms of reading and understanding scientific papers um, and then the facts that uh, you're learning are going to come together to help you to uh, be, um, be able to connect knowledge with data and with new discoveries. Um, there's also some information um, regarding sort of class expectations, um, looping course structure, which just means that the material builds on itself and that the exams are going to be um, slightly cumulative in the sense that, um, strictly speaking, anything from the earlier units could be examined, could be tested on a later exam. Um, the exams are going to prioritize the current material, um, but also I'm going to be um, trying to make an effort to um, explain how features of one disease that we're learning about later on in the summer connect to things that you've already learned about or are related to either in the biological basis um, or in the, the research that is done or something else that relates some of the later material to things that you've already learned. Also, um, uh, there, um, I do do research on student learning. Um, this is less applicable usually in the summer courses, um, especially because there are extra rules related to um, the fraction of the students in the summer who are under age 18. Um, but for those of you who are, uh, for those of you who are under 18, your data is not going to be used at all um, because it's not allowed without um, extensive permission that I'm not able to get. Um, for those of you who are um, uh, CMU full-time students. Um, and are over 18 if you have questions about what's involved and what uh, and, and also wanting to figure out about opting in and opting out you can either contact me or um, uh, my colleague uh, who um, can also help uh, coordinate this um, without actually me knowing whether you've opted in or opting out if you talk to him instead
Um, there are also uh, various things related to late policies, um, three late assignments. Um, that you might as well use them because they don't have any value if you keep them to the end of the semester um, uh, or keep them beyond the end of the semester, I guess. Um, uh, various policies related to attendance, um, late work, missing classes. Primarily, if you're going to miss a class, just let me know as soon as possible. Um, and typically, especially if you let me know in advance, um, but even if there's something that comes up unexpectedly and you let me know as soon as possible, you can still get credit for missed in-class activities. Um, and then homework does use Gradescope. Um, an update since I made the first video about Gradescope is that we actually do allow, I do allow typing as long as it aligns really well um, with the original PDF template. Um, and that's just necessary for the Gradescope software to work and be able to allow um, for, for uh, a appropriate grading of the assignments. Um, then there's a grading breakdown. There are a lot of different um, assignments and a lot of different weights associated with them. Um, and then also policies about exams, quizzes, activities, discussions, book reports, and scientific publication reports. Um, more details about all of those will come out, um, but you should read over the overviews now and let me know what questions you have. Um, and then, of course, the um, approximate course schedule. There's a note here that I tend to run a day behind. Um, so even though the assignment dates aren't going to change, um, the topics might sort of bump around just a little bit. Um, and then very importantly, um, some, uh, some recommendations and policies about taking care of yourself and resources to help um, take care of yourself, um, whether you're a CMU uh, full-time student or somebody who's coming from outside for the summer. Um, it's very important to... Um, be taking care of yourself and proactive about your health um, and especially about the stress that's associated with this. Um, and uh, there are um, very, there are confidential resources that are listed here um, and also uh, emergency contacts and so on. Um, uh, there are also um, a lot of confidentiality um, rules that govern both the work that you do and other things in terms of um, uh, the, the way that I work with, uh, with you and anything uh, that comes up in, in class periods and so on. If you have questions about that, you can just um, always ask me or contact one of these other resources. Um, or uh, you can also um, ask, uh, uh, ask uh, Madeline to help connect you with, um, with any of the resources as well. Um, so uh, please, most importantly, um, do let me know what questions you have. I have office hours after class, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I tend to be available most days um, in, the, in the early afternoon and also by appointments other times um, as needed. Um, so uh, the main thing to, to succeed in the class is just to be in touch with me as you're working through the material. Um, so uh, I look forward to discussing and um, learning together about these diseases with you. One of the things that I really love about this class is that I have an opportunity to um, uh, get myself up to date on new research about these diseases and also in the questions and engagement that we have together provides me an opportunity to, um, to learn collaboratively with the students, um, which is really a very exciting opportunity for me. Um, and so I look forward to working with you all over the summer.